there have a lot of fish. Yeah, we are now in Paguera Beach and it's very very shallow here. You can see what I can see it here. And yeah, it's very clear water. I don't know whether the water was also clear but um like only in the morning. So uh, without further ado, answering the question is where to stay in Mallorca. If you're really interested in the sea life, you like to snorkel, definitely Paguera is a good choice. Have you seen those fish? It's like they are like around and they're not afraid at all. Honestly, we were so amazed that fishes were not afraid of us. You could just dive and they could just, you know, hang out with you like that. As I mentioned before, we were really going for it and uh, exploring the sea life. We also were feeding the fish and they went crazy. They were so big, one of them tried to attack me. Oh, oh my god, they're coming to you. Oh, you push it out. Oh no, you're feeding so fast on it. I know. <laughs> you feel me, feel me. Go down. Go feed them. Yeah, that was a lot of them. Yeah, that was... Go, go, go! Oh my god! Oh my god, that's a lot of them. <laughs> and after we were spending time on the beach, we came back to our hotel on the rooftop and decided to chill a little bit because the next day we had an excursion. We decided to book an excursion. Um, in a way that we don't need to take a taxi somewhere and we found on some random website the excursion on the big uh, boat uh, to explore the coast and also to snorkel so we were pretty excited because you know one thing is to snorkel next to the land to the you know beach and to the ground basically another thing is snorkel uh, from the boat. I personally had an experience of snorkeling from uh, the boat in Thailand and I really liked it even though I was like panicking there a little bit but yeah that's a story. And here happened something that I could have known about but I still wanted to be positive and uh, believe for the best. Oh, wind though, yeah. Yeah, wind but it's still sad. The website that we booked their excursion uh, from also had a comment and a lot of people were complaining that there are way too many people on the boat and it's just not as good as it seems. When we were just boarding on the boat, there were actually not that many people, so we were just a little bit skeptical about the comments. But actually the boat stops in several places on the shore and picks more and more people, so we end up being packed. Some people didn't even have space to sit. So in the beginning of the trip, we were quite positive. 
and you know try to make a content film around and the beauty surrounded by the boat the sea the those uh, you know mountains the stones hotels on the shore they did look really great but the more people came on the board the more uncomfortable it became also clip you can see that people had to stand there were quite a lot of people and yet you can still tolerate okay a lot of people on the boat you sit have a place that's enough but it became worse when it came to the snorkeling imagine all the amount of people started to try to jump from the boat and go from the boat and the snorkeling was only 20 minutes so imagine you've been standing in the queue for five minutes then trying to go down in the water very very fast um, and <laughs> as you can see i was really struggling and i was actually scared i'm never really scared of the water but actually people in it because you never know what can happen you know somebody will start drawing and will take you <laughs> with you <laughs> basically uh so yeah it was not comfortable Not everyone is down yet, but they're still climbing up. Like really. So will I recommend this excursion? Nope. Uh, did we know that it's going to be generic? Yes. We don't have our money to hire a private boat, you know, so this is the only way to go, which is not the worst, but if you cannot swim well, be aware but enough complaining let's go further i <laughs> It's the last full day uh, here in Mallorca. The place is nice. Uh, we haven't really explored a lot. There are quite a lot of things to do. Like you can walk, you can take a taxi, a lot of things. It's just because of the heat. We have stayed uh, here almost 14 days. And uh, so far I understood that if you stay and if you have a long holiday it's much better to actually stay in the flat because you can uh, make your own food you can decide when you want to eat uh, without actually need to go out especially when it's hot a lot of different dishes just by cooking at home and make them cheaper healthier and faster this is the end of our mallorca diaries i hope you enjoy it please like and subscribe See you next time.